Well, welcome back everyone to another episode of Shea TV. My name is Marissa Hill and today is our Supreme Week pickups. I know it's been a minute since I've done these videos. There just hasn't been a lot dropping lately that I've been really interested in purchasing from Supreme. So this week has finally been the week where I feel like, okay, you know what? I'm going to pick up a couple items and we're going to do this video for everybody because why not just continuously spend ridiculous amounts of money on Supreme if you can. Uh, so if you're new to the channel, welcome. Be sure to hit that subscribe right now. Give this video a thumbs up. If you have any comments or questions, leave those down below. Hit that notification box. We do have a ton of heat coming out that I don't want you to miss out on. Also, be sure to check out that join button for our amazing membership perks as well as our merch store. So again, I picked up a few pieces in store today. I didn't really go online this morning to try and snag anything. I was just basically gambling away with the fact that I was hoping I would just be able to get what I wanted in store and I was. So first up uh, is this satin sweatsuit. So I went with this mint colorway. I absolutely love mint. I feel like this is a color scheme that I really haven't gotten any Supreme items in, so I wanted to kind of get some variation going on. Uh, for a size reference, I did get a size small in the pants and the hoodie. I will say I have really long limbs, so I have like a 33 inch inseam. And the small is a little bit on the shorter side, so depending on how tall you are and how long your legs are, definitely consider that when you're trying to figure out what size you should snag. Uh, but the small was definitely a little bit on the shorter side. As far as this print goes though, this is beautiful. This is such a smooth, soft satin stitch that we have going on here. It is nicely embroidered. I will say that they did a good job just making this pop off of this mint colorway. This did release in other colorway options. Again, I just have no mint pieces really in Supreme, so I wanted to kind of mix it up and do something different. Uh, but that is this massive logo that goes all the way pretty much from your hip almost to the bottom of your ankle. Uh, but really just cool print. I think they did a spectacular job with the stitching on this. It just looks very upscale and luxurious. We'll see how this washes when I do wash it. I'm wondering if that satin is going to actually like change the texture, if it's actually going to stay smooth. Uh, but these are retailed at $148. And of course, the completionist in me had to get the matching hoodie so i have it again in the mint colorway i'm gonna flip around though so you guys can see the coolest part since there's no graphics or anything on the front part it's pretty pretty simple uh so let me just flip around so you guys can kind of see that we do have that same embroidery in the silk on the back that satiny silk material so it's nicely stitched as well and matches the leg on the sweatpants and this retailed at 158 dollars item that I picked up. I know that I already have my digital Supreme clock, but I really, really, really wanted to get this one. This honestly reminds me of my very first alarm clock that I ever owned. Oh, we had a little battery in there. So good to know that you don't have to go out and buy your own battery to start this bad boy up. Uh, but I did get the Supreme alarm clock. Ooh, I already like ding it. How cool is that? So it's the same brand actually as my digital uh, clock. So that's really cool. I know this is not the correct time. I was like, wait, does that say 1010? It's definitely not 1010 right now. Um, but yeah, so I have another clock. I feel like this one's gonna go in the room and this can be like my new alarm clock. 
wondering what this sounds like. Probably is really, really loud and obnoxiously annoying and I'm probably gonna wanna throw this across my room when I do have to wake up, but for now it's really cute. Look at that. Let's just set them down. Ah, he's got those two little metal legs here. We got the Supreme Box logo there. Our little bells that this will hit when it goes off. And then it looks like this, let's see, this is where we're gonna put the battery. Should we just throw this battery in here just to just to do it? I think we should just do it. Let's open it up. I'm not actually sure how this alarm clock works because I haven't had one that looks like this in a while. But we're gonna struggle to open this battery. There we go. I did it. All right, so let's put this battery in here and see what happens when we've got that all rigged up. Too much lotion on my fingers. Can't get this on. Okay, there we go. Alright, so that didn't do anything. Oh, let's turn it off and on. We've got a snooze button. Well, that's exciting. So nothing has started. So I'm not doing something. Alright, figure it out. It's on. See if the snooze button works. Well, the snooze button does work. <laughs> and there's also a light. Look at that. There's also a light on here. So not only is it the snooze button, it's also a button for a light. So really kind of cool. I love it. I don't like the sound of it, but you know, it's all right. All right, let's wait for, I don't know how long it even snoozes for. I guess we'll just have to wait and find out. See if it goes off or we're still continuing this video here. Um, but that retailed for $54. So now let's go through the sellout times. See what went the fastest online today, shall we? Uh, first up was the satin applique sweatpants in the black colorway in a double XL that went in 27 seconds, followed by the Dickies corduroy work jacket in 33 in a double XL. Then the blue Dickies jacket in that same size went in 37, followed by the satin applique sweatpants in the double XL in red. Looks like double XLs are just what everybody went crazy for this morning. So the corduroy jacket in XL, the Supreme Dickies corduroy overalls in a double XL, the satin oblique sweatpants in a double XL, followed by the Supreme Dickies sweater in a XL. So it looks like pretty much a couple Dickies pieces and the larger sizes were pretty much what flew in the US. Um, and then some of the satin pieces as well in the larger size range, but it does look like this color scheme uh, definitely sold out in the smaller sizes the quickest in comparison to some of the other colorways uh, but it looks like between the hottest items it was the Dickies pieces as well as these satin pieces. All right, so now let's talk a little bit about resale. So again, the alarm clock retailed at $54 and this is going around $84 to $115, which is pretty good amount. Uh, these were actually much more limited than I expected it to be. So definitely congrats to anybody who was able to snag this cute little alarm clock. Uh, the sweats for the pants were $148 and the hoodie is uh, 158. This is going above 300 right now, and this is going above 200. Uh, so that is it for all the pickups for week nine. I know it's been a minute, so apologies to all my Supreme fans out there. I know that I have not been posting regularly, and that has to do with the fact that just the weeks have been a little bit not on the most exciting uh, points, so or not the most exciting items that I'd like to go for. So finally we're back on track here. Uh, so we'll see what releases for week 10. All right, everybody. Thank you so much for tuning in. If you joined us for the first time, be sure to hit that subscribe right now. Give this video a thumbs up. If you have any comments or questions, leave those down below. Hit that notification box. We have a ton of heat coming out that I don't want you to miss out on. Also, be sure to check out that join button for our amazing membership perks, as well as our merch store. This is Shade TV. My name's Marissa Hill. We shall catch you all next episode.